Hi guys, welcome you all to my YouTube channel Software Testing by NKT. As a part of this video, I am going to talk about what do you mean by inheritance in Java. So let's get started. Inheritance is one of the most important topic in Java which many people don't understand it. I am going to explain this topic in such a way that every one of you who is watching this video will understand the importance of Java and everything each and everything about inheritance for lifelong so let's get started inheritance is in java is nothing but so getting the properties of one class into another class is called as inheritance your one class is already present you are trying to get the properties of that class into the another class which you are trying to create that is called as inheritance in one more word inheriting the properties of one class into another class is called as inheritance the idea behind inheritance is that you can create a new class that is built upon the existing classes we have so you have already many classes that are already present and you're trying to create the new classes not from scratch but by using these classes so you're trying to create new new classes but you're not trying to create it from scratch you are trying to create it that are built upon existing classes that are already present. So why in Java we need inheritance topic? Why in it inheritance topic has come into the picture? So inheritance, the importance of inheritance is that is to reuse the code. Suppose one class is already written in which multiple methods are written, multiple variables are written. So now you are trying to create a new class. Instead of writing those methods, those variables again, what you will do is you will inherit those properties. You will consume those methods. You will consume those variables and you will use in your new class. And not only that, you can even create multiple methods, multiple variables in the new class which you are making. So inheriting the properties of one class into another class is called as inheritance so extent is the keyword in java which is used to inherit the properties of one class into another class if you remember my 50 keywords in java video there i said that we have 50 keywords in java so always remember each keywords which i spoke in that video each keyword have some functionality to perform in java like extend is a keyword which is used to get the properties of my one class to the another class similarly for all those 50 keywords usage i'm going to talk in different different videos and always remember i have said you that inheriting the properties of one class into another class is called as inheritance so in java we always say that the properties from which we are trying to inherit the properties is called as parent class and the and the class in which you are trying to inherit the properties is called as your child class. Your parent class is also called as super class. Your child class is also called as subclass. Your parent class is also called as base class. Your child class is also called as derived class. Anything you can use it. Some people will say child class. Some people will say derived class. Some people will say base class anyone can say anything it is just a synonyms of parent class and child class so if anyone is using other names you should not get confused the main idea behind inheritance is the code reusability whatever the code is written i can consume them i can use them i can consume them instead of writing the whole code from scratch what i will do is whatever the class which is already written i will use those methods use those variable and I will use them. I will reuse the code. Instead of writing it from bottom, I can use them. And not only use them, whatever the class I am creating, in that also I can create multiple methods, multiple variables. And I can use whatever the class or methods which is already created and whatever the methods I am making. I can combine everything and, and I can make something. So inheritance has come into the picture because of reusability of the code. Code wastage that's why we have come for inheritance and one more thing always remember private member of my super class cannot be inherited to the subclass and one more thing always remember that any class you are creating in java will always be the subclass to the object class in java always object class is the superior 
is the super class for all the classes you create so always remember this line i want you to recognize this line until you are learning java that any class you create in java will always be the subclass to the object class your object class is always going to be the super classes for all the classes your inheritance represent the is a relationship between classes inheritance represent the parent child relationship between classes and is also called as is a relationship and in remember in inheritance you have five types the five different types are single level inheritance multi level inheritance multiple level inheritance hybrid inheritance and hierarchical inheritance what are this i am going to talk about each one of this type of inheritance in my one one video if i complete everything in this video this video is going to be very long so what i will do is i will create each type of inheritance that is single multi hierarchical hybrid multiple each videos i'm going to create in different different videos so that it will be easy for you guys to understand it if you feel this video was useful give a thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mkt and please share this video with your needy friends have any question list out all your doubts in the comment section i will be answering when i reach to me out i have added my core account twitter account gmail account in the link description please check it out take care thank you